Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical back at the tabletop and today we're doing a viewer requested video and uh, thank you for taking the time to comment down below and ask a question. Uh, I'm always willing to help out when I can so you know if you are a newer shooter or just whoever uh, if you comment in the comment section below I will respond to the best of my ability even in up and to including you know an instructional video or whatever I can speaking on the matter that you want me to discuss um, but from what what I gather this uh, this viewer was is a newer gun owner and uh, congratulations welcome to the fold and they said they were having difficulty loading their magazines and um, we want to help them out that's what we're all about here so we are going to do a little demonstration of how to load a couple different types of magazines and and then a revolver which is a little bit different um, but a lot of people still use them so it's quality information uh, that you should know and, uh, you know, if you're a seasoned gun owner, whatever, you, you've been shooting, you know what you're doing, not the video for you. But this is to help out any of the new gun owners, and uh, hopefully it does. So, first of all, most new to shooting people are, if they're old enough, going to most likely buy uh, a handgun. So, represented with that, um, we do have the revolver, which we'll get to. But uh, this is a Beretta 92 magazine. Okay, we got a Glock magazine, that's for a Glock 17 um, common stuff. There's also single stack magazines. Um, this is from a Smith and Wesson, um, 4506 or 4566, something, to, something to that effect. This is a single stack mag. Um, but the principle of loading it is, is relatively the same. Um, so first of all, we'll start off with the, uh, the Beretta mag here. Um, so this is a 15 shot magazine. You can see it's not loaded completely. And so most people are right-handed. If you're left-handed, just mirror this. Um, we're going to grab the mag, and we're going to grab the, the rear part of the round. Now, if the mag is completely unloaded, um, which I might as well do for you guys, so you at least know what it looks like. Um, so here, mag is completely unloaded. There is the follower, okay? That is what helps guide the bullets up the magazine, so then they could be fed into the chamber. Um, so here, starting off, round one. This little lip right here. It's cut open, and uh, you've got some space. You can't put it straight down over top. You don't want to do that. I see people trying to do that all the time. You're going to bend and spread your feed lips, and they could crack or break, or you're going to have malfunctions in your gun. So you want to start from the top, um, the edge, down and back. Now that you got the first one in there, put your thumb over the rear of the round, and you can use it also as a guide. You're going to push down, push down, alleviate some tension, take the other one, Use your thumb as a guide, push down and back. You want to make sure the rounds are, are fully in there and fully seated rearward. Again, push down, use as a guide, down, back. Um, you can even smack the mag against your hand or the table, make sure they're in there, they're seated, and uh, you know you can just get to, to loading up mags as quickly as you want. Um, but that's, that's the best technique that I found. Again, don't try and push it straight down from the top if it's a handgun uh, magazine. Push it down, use your thumb as a guide, down and back. Simple. Same principle with a single stack mag. A lot of new gun owners are also buying single stack guns um, because they, they seem to think that the little ones are less intimidating. So they're picking up maybe a shield or a Glock 43 or something to that effect. Um, so single stack mag, exactly the same um, principle. Uh, this one is not a 1911 mag, um, but similar enough. Uh, again, we're going to use push down and back. Use it as a guide, push down and back. And you'll see the little slits and cuts in different magazines as to where the rim of that cartridge uh, will easily slide into. So down and then back. And then again, we can make sure they're seated and we've got another loaded magazine, which loaded magazines are always a good thing. Um, now let's talk about ARs um, and or AKs, different types of rifles, semi-automatic magazine fed. These are true double stack magazines. So, while you could, in theory, start at the front like we do on the handgun mags and push down and back, all you have to do is push straight down. This is where you want to push straight down, um, right there. You know, as opposed to the handgun where you do want to start from the front. These magazines, these styles of magazines, are meant to be pushed straight down from the top. So we've got the round on top of the other round. There's the opening in the magazine here. You could do it like this. This is typically how I do it. Or you could use your thumbs, whatever. And then just push it down. Uh, I got a little caught up right there. Just push it straight down. Uh, and then again, same thing. 
seated all the way to the rear. You can give it a couple smacks. Now you're loaded in there. Um, here's an M1 carbine magazine, okay, 30 carbine. Sweet gun, uh, sweet little round, same thing. Now this, it does have cuts open there, making it seem like you could push down and back, which you can, but you can also go like the AR, AK, and go straight from the top. Um, so again, different ways of doing it, but on a double stack, semi-automatic magazine, uh, typically it's going to be straight down from the back, uh, or straight down from the top, as opposed to starting in the front, going to the back like you would on a handgun mag. Again, here's a Glock mag. A lot of people are running Glocks. Um, it's already got some rounds in it, so we're going to push down on the rear, use our thumb, the tip of our thumb as a guide, and then push down and all the way back. You could use the table as support if that helps control it, give you a little bit of extra pressure. They also sell like the Maglula Uplulas, uh, which help out a lot. There's a little trick to doing that, and you can actually get really quick with it. But if you're working with just the thumbs and um, you know, you're new to this, don't give up. Don't have someone else do it for you either because you need to know how to do it. Again, you could use the table as a brace, push down, push down, and back. Uh, again, handgun magazines, you do not want to push straight down from the top. They are not designed to do that unless you're talking in the rare case of like the the, uh, the Ruger 57 and the FN 5.7. I do believe those are treated more as rifle mags. Um, but again, down and back. Simple, easy stuff. Um, thank you so much for asking because I'm always willing to help. And, uh, you know, it's stuff that a lot of people just overlook, um, you know, where it's, oh, common sense, but, you know, it's not that common anymore. And then on top of that, uh, let's help out the new people that come into the fold because those are voters. Those are people in support um, of our rights and exercising them. So I'm always, always down for that. Uh, now, last but certainly not least, revolvers, wheel guns, love them. Uh, they don't have magazines, okay? They have cylinders, which are attached to the gun and serve as the magazine. Uh, it's the bullet feeding device, as it were. So you don't need any type of magazine or anything like that. You could just drop rounds straight in there. Load it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, close up the gun, now you're ready. But using revolvers for self-defense, a lot of people like to use speed loaders um, or reloading um, devices. This is a speed strip. Uh, to help them load the gun more efficiently because when you are running a revolver for self-defense or whatever it's not nearly as easy or fast to reload as a semi-automatic firearm so you have to do these little workarounds um, so here's a speed strip it's rubberized and uh, like friction fit and you just pluck one of those little guys in there you know they got oh i just pulled one out um so now we got six rounds, six rounds uh, on the strip. And then you're going to want to do this two at a time. Um, get them in there. Rip up and away. Two in time. Rip up and away. Two at a time. Rip up and away. And now I got the gun loaded. It was more efficient. Um, it, was, it was quicker than just doing it by hand one at a time. And I could carry these you know, readily available or keep them in the nightstand with the gun or whatever you're doing. But uh, from a gun that's low capacity already, being able to reload it more efficiently always a good idea so that is nice and the redeeming you know factor of the revolver is you could just pick up loose rounds and shove them in there um, as opposed to having to remove a magazine reload the mag then reload the gun this is you know actually even better in some ways now this is um a speed loader so we're going to line up all the holes at once twist it let it fall and that's really quick especially if you practice so you know there, there's different ways of reloading different guns hopefully this helped out especially if you're a newer shooter and even if you're not a newer shooter shooter maybe you learned something but that being said again thank you so much for watching guys thank you for commenting and interacting it helps out a lot and uh it allows me to do cool content like this so thank you guys so much for watching please remember to check those first three links in the description box below so you can help fight for your gun rights very, very important people. No days off. And that being said, we'll catch you next time. Peace.